Welcome to 24 Hour Sports. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I'm here to tell you why I love Russell Westbrook to the Los Angeles Clippers. And let me get a couple things out the way first. I have them as my second favorite in the West. I like Phoenix. I like them. And then I like Denver, Sacramento. We can, we can look at that. And then we also have the Grizzlies who've been playing tough as of late. They haven't been winning a lot of games. They're in the last 10, 4, and 6. So now let's talk about the Clippers and what they already have before we talk about implementing Russell Westbrook into this thing. Now we're coming out. Recently, against the Suns, we came out with Terrence Mann, Paul George, Kawhi, Marcus Morris, and Zoo. Coming off the bench, we got Eric Gordon, we got Bones, Norman, Nick, and Plumlee. So, it's interesting because who do we want to kick out of this thing? Depending on what Russell Westbrook's role on this team is going to be, and this is why I think it's different. I know people say he can't shoot the ball, you know, they maybe don't like his defense, they don't like the turnovers, I don't like the turnovers, but... This is a different team. This team has shooting around. It's no LeBron James. It's no AD. Because we're playing versatile on the wings. We got shooters. Marcus Morris, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. And I think this can unlock the best out of Wester Westbrook. If we're going to see anything, if he's going to win a ring in his career to solidify, he's already a Hall of Famer, but to really solidify and emphasize when I walk in the room, first ballot Hall of Famer, this is the team. Because I can see him and Zoo getting in that high pick and roll. I can see those shooters catching and shooting. Like I said, Marcus Morris, Kawhi, and George. But here's what I ideally would do. And maybe Bones or Eric Gordon will be the odd man out on this sometimes. Are we really going to go 10 deep? Because it's tough, especially in the playoffs. We're going to want to play Kawhi and George heavy minutes. Marcus Morris also has to get his minutes. Nick Batum. So now I'm thinking, we got, we're 11 deep. It's the truth. We can run George, Man, Kawhi, Morris, Zoo. That's five. We can run Gordon, Bones, Nick. Mason Plumley, Russell Westbrook, and I didn't even name Bones Highland. We're 11 deep if we're the Los Angeles Clippers, and we got to love it, all right? So now, let's talk about it. I would have Russell Westbrook come off of that, is that seventh man. And I'm thinking Norman Powell comes into the game, get some run. And I'm Terrence Mann is going to be the guy who's coming out of this thing. So we get Norman Powell in the game, get him some run with that team. And see, the interesting thing about this that I haven't talked about yet, Paul George can facilitate. Kawhi Leonard can facilitate. He's not a point guard, but he can get those guys in the good shots. He can get into that high post. He can get into the isolation sets. He can run high pick and roll with Zubox. So can Paul George. So now we're looking at this. We're looking good. Because we got Westbrook, Norman. Like I said, if we take out Zoo, then we have... Kawhi, we can run Kawhi, Paul, George, and Morris. And that's a deadly lineup. All right, so tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments right now what you think. Westbrook, Powell, Kawhi, George, and Morris. Deadly. Like we say, some of the death lineup. I don't want to compare it to the Warriors with KD and Draymond and all that, but that's a death lineup of their own. And now, like I said, if we take one of those two stars out, we can also keep Terrence Mann in this thing. We can bring in Eric Gordon, and that's where we're going to be a little bit undersized, but it's fine. Because if we take if we bring in Eric Gordon, we can also bring in Mason Plumley, and that's another big. He's running about 6'10, close to 7 foot. All right. So that's a true big, a true center in today's game. And him and Russell Westbrook, Mason Plumley is an athletic player. I'm sure you've seen him catching alleys, blocking shots. Him and Russ, him and Westbrook can run. And then we got the shooters. This is why it's different on this team. This is a top 10, the seventh ranked three-point shooting team in the NBA. So I feel solid about Westbrook in the spacing around him, that high pick and roll getting into it. And yeah, some teams are probably going to want to go under the screens. It's going to be interesting to see how they play defense against this team. Do you want to play zone? Do you want to play man? What do you want to do? And it's going to depend. It's probably going to be different looks, switched up, mismatched. But I love it, all right? And I think he can run with this team. All his skills are unlocked. He has shooters around him. When he's on the court with Kawhi and Paul George, he can't. He can't be off the ball. And that's why I say he can't start. So I'm going to keep Terrence Mann starting because I want to have Paul George and Kawhi get hot. 
I want to let them get their shots off early. Let Kawhi start off with some of that high pick and roll. Paul George start off with some of that high pick and roll. And then once we bring in Westbrook, now we already hot. Now we can run that high pick and roll with Westbrook and probably Zoo or Plumley. Like I said, we can even run it with Morris and run some pick and pop action. So now this court with Westbrook, a lot of people don't see it, but this is actually a dangerous move. With what Westbrook can do at this point in his career, he's still explosive. He still can run. They're going to push the pace with this team. If I haven't convinced you that Westbrook Westbrook is going to be dominant on this team, I don't know what I can convince you of, but I'm putting my hand on the table. I'm here to say it. Russell Westbrook will succeed. The Los Angeles Clippers will succeed. This is a dangerous team. Let me get let me get my top three lineups of this team. I'm gonna, before I end out this video, let me get my top three lineups. So I'm coming out there with a the starting lineup. Like I said, I like that lineup. I like Terrence Mann because he's 6'5". All right? Bones Highland, Eric Gordon, those guys aren't that. Norman Powell, he's also running about 6'2", 6'3", whatever you want to call it. So I have him starting for a defensive purpose. And now if I got Paul George and Kawhi running it, facilitating it, I love that lineup. So that's just got to be my number one. And now number two, we coming out with that death lineup that I'm talking about, that I'm envisioning in my head. Westbrook, Powell, Terrence Mann, any of the guards, any of the guards. But Westbrook at the guard, Kawhi at the – Kawhi can run the four. It can really be interchangeable. But Kawhi and Paul George is your wings. Morris at that five, just call it a, just call it a done deal. Just call it a done deal. Send Larry O'Brien to the, to the Clippers. And now, talking about that third lineup, Westbrook, let's talk about a bench lineup, a strictly bench lineup, because that involves starter. When we come off the bench and we want to give those guys some rest, but we can still come at you if you get what I'm saying. We can run Westbrook. We can run Gordon. We can run, we can run, we're going to have to run Powell. I don't even know how I forgot Powell. We're running Westbrook, Powell, Gordon. We're coming at you with Nick Batum, can also stretch the floor, and we're coming at you with Plumlee. I'm dropping the mic. I, I, I'm dropping the mic. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this. We out. Watch this. I don't even know what I just said. We out.